Hello my friends, my family, and my followers. It's High 360 here. Look at where I'm at. I'm in the ocean. Dad and I are on a ferry to transport our vehicles from Dolphin Island to Gulf Shores. The next island. The next island. And we're doing that because we're on the next island, we're gonna be hiking the Pine Beach Trail. Uh, we found that trail on Hip Camp, I think, yeah, sure, that's where it came from, uh, shout out Hip Camp, and we are also going to check out Fort Morgan, very common for forts to be on these coasts, like that one right there, on Dolphin, so we got uh, shipping containers, oil rigs, birds, that's what's happening right now. This ferry ride is about 45 minutes and it's really cool. This is the first time I've driven my car on a ferry. And it's pretty rough out here. We're not going to be able to take the ferry back most likely. High winds are scheduled for later on in the afternoon. So we'll have to drive back up through Mobile and then come back down again on the uh, solid roads. If it reaches 25 knots then it's a no-go. So we're gonna add an extra hike. The uh, Pine Beach Grove is only about, what do you say, two miles or so. So that's a short hike. Fort Morgan, you know, who knows how long we'll stay there. We'll add another hike on on the uh, Gulf Coast shores. Yep. And then we'll head up to, where are we going? Uh, the Five, Five Delta Center, which is just at the top of the Gulf of Mobile. By Fort, uh, Spanish Fort. Yeah, right below Spanish Fort. So right back where, kind of where we were camping the other night. And then once we're done there, we're going to take it back to our campgrounds and do the Audubon Trail. We didn't end up doing that last night. We were too awestruck by the sunset and the dolphins and the jellyfish and the box. And the crane yeah, a lot of great animals. And the raccoons. Oh, yeah, we got a raccoon. You know, we'll have to film the campsite. <laughs> uh, a great campsite down here at Dolphin Island. Uh, really nice shower, bathroom, laundry room. We got our laundry done. Yeah. Uh, we can plug in. We charge some of the devices. So that's nice. Um, these oil rigs just freak me out. Unless you're down here, you really just don't know. I mean, I I follow oil. Like, I read a lot about oil. Much more than I should. <laughs> and, you know, uh, in 2019, I drove in, in the center of the country to really kind of look at the oil drilling, the fracking operation within oh, the country yeah. before it was all shut down uh, purposely by OPEC flooding the market but I've never been able to see this I thought these rigs were much farther out and significantly fewer <laughs> no, there's so many there's so many there's so many and all I can do when I see this many together is think about the, the movie the book <coughs> there will be blood yeah yeah because you know the twist in that is we don't need your land, the church guy, because we drilled all the oil out from under it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously this oil patch, patches, they're all kind of connected. So these guys are all just sort of, I assume, racing to get it out. Crazy stuff. Yeah. All right, well, don't forget to subscribe. Use your 360 goggles in the autumn. If not, you know, you can scroll across the screen or use the buttons to move around. The 360 is pretty neat, and now is a perfect time.